Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome. Today's topic is the 2011 Cleveland Indians MLB season. Again, the tribe was playing home games at Progressive Field. Their, home, their uh, record that year was 80 and 82, two games under 500. They, fi- they finished in second place, 15 games behind the Tigers. So the winning percentage was 494. However, they actually got out to a very strong start. They were 30 and 15 after 45 games, about a quarter of the way through the year. That's a 667 winning percentage. Unfortunately, and they were in first place with a seven-game lead. So it looked like uh, we were going to have a we were a contender early on. However, uh, the rest of the season they were 50 and 67, way below 500. Uh, so they uh, they really faded. It was kind of strange. But at any rate, there was an 11 win improvement over 2010, and so there was you know there were better team uh, and the attendance went up, 5,500 fans per game in 2010. The, the attendance was 17,181 per game, and in 2011, 22,726. Okay, so there was there was progress. Uh, in the off season before the before the year, Bob Feller died on. December 15th, 2010. So God bless Bob Feller. That was the, the end of, he had quite a run, as they say, and the Indians Man of the Year Award was renamed the Bob Feller Man of the Year Award. So uh, anyway, uh, Mark Shapiro was, uh, well, Mark Shapiro was um, uh, promoted to, to become president of, of, the, of, the, of the Indians. Uh, he was no longer the GM. And the new general manager was Chris Antonetti. Antonetti was from Georgetown University, or studied at Georgetown University and the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. And he was in the Expos uh, front office in 1998, and he, he's actually been with the tribe since 1999. After the 2010 season, Ant- Antonetti became the GM. And after, and actually after the 2015 season, Antonetti became the president. And uh, Mike Chernoff, the new GM. So actually, uh, uh, Chris Antonetti is the current tribe president. So he's with the team right now. Now the coaching staff, uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. was back as the first base coach. Wonderful having him, him on the t- him with the team. Tim Belcher was the pitching coach. Armando Camacaro was a new bullpen catcher. Camacaro was from Caracas, Venezuela. He was a catcher himself, and he played in the, for the Tribe in the minor leagues from 2001 to 2009. Uh, Bruce Fields was a new hitting coach. Uh, Fields was from, was from Cleveland, Ohio. He uh, played for the tri- Tigers and Mariners between 1986 and 1989. And his, for his career, he had 274, 14 home runs, 31 RBIs. He worked as a Tigers coach. He was actually hired during the season on uh, June 19th to try to revive the Tribe offense, which was struggling. And uh, that meant that John Nunnally, who had been the hitting coach, was fired on June 19th you know, for, this, uh, for the, for the uh, poor hitting of Indians uh, batters. Uh, Scott Radinsky was uh, a bull- in the bullpen coach again. Steve Smith, again, was the third base coach. Tim Tolman was back as the bench coach, and Manny Acta was the Indians' manager again. Now, the, um, uh, in the lineup, uh, Carlos Santana was our everyday catcher, hit 239, 27 home runs, very good, and 79 RBIs. Matt Laporta was at first base, hit 247, 11 home runs, 53 RBIs in, in 107 games. Orlando Cabrera, was the new second baseman. He hit 244, four home runs, 38 RBIs, six stolen bases in 91 games. Cabrera was from Cartagena, Colombia, South America. He was a shortstop, played for the Expos, Red Sox, Angels, White Sox, A's, Twins, Reds, Tribe, and Giants between 1997 and 2011. For his career, he hit 272, 123 home runs, 854 RBIs. He won a World Series title with the Red Sox in 2004. He also won two gold gloves in his career. They called him O-Cab, or the O-C. He is the younger brother of Holbert Cabrera, who was a former Tribe player. In 2011, he got his 2,000th hit. 
and, and, and also that year he, he got he was became a naturalized U.S. citizen. He currently lives in Wyndham, New Hampshire. As Drubo Cabrera, no relation, was our shortstop, hit 273, 25 home runs, 92 RBIs, seven and 17 stolen bases, and he made the all-star team, and he won the Bob Feller Man of the Year Award as the best Indians player. Uh, Jack Hanahan was our third baseman. Hit new, new guy hit 250, eight home runs, 40 RBIs, and 110 games. Hanahan was from St. Paul, Minnesota, third baseman for the Tigers, A's, Mariners, Tribe, Reds, and LG Twins in South Korea between 2006 and 2015. For his career, he hit 231, 29 home runs, and 175 RBIs. Michael Brantley was the left fielder, hit 266, 7 home runs, 46 RBIs, 13 stolen bases in 114 games. Grady Sizemore was our center fielder, had a tough year, hit, hit 224, 10 home runs, 32 RBIs in 71 games. So he was uh, injured a lot again, unfortunately. Shin Su Chu was in right field, hit 259, 8 home runs. 36 RBIs, 12 stolen bases in 85 games. So he was dealing with injuries as well. Travis Hafner hit 280. His average was up. 13 home runs, 57 RBIs in 94 games. Again, Hafner was hurt. Uh, now the bench players included Lou Marson, who hit 230, one home run, 19 RBIs, four stolen bases in 79 games. Kosuke Fukudome was a new player, hit 249, five home runs, 22 RBIs in 59 games. Fukudome was from Osaki Sioux District, Sioux District, Kagoshima, Japan. He was an outfitter for the Chunichi Dragons, Cubs, Tribe, White Sox, and Hanshin Tigers from 1999 to the present. So he's currently playing in Japan. He was um, a Japanese MVP in 2006, is a four-time All-Star in Japan, won five gold gloves in Japan, and hit for the cycle twice in Japan. His Japanese uh, career, he had 292, 256 home runs, 926 RBIs, and he made the All-Star team in, in the MLB in 2008. Shelley Duncan hit 260, 11 home runs, 47 RBIs in 76 games, the son of Dave Duncan. Ezekiel Carrera was a new player, hit 243, zero home runs, 14 RBIs, 10 stolen bases in 68 games. Carrera is from Guiria, Venezuela, South America, an outfielder for the Tribe, Phillies, Tigers, Blue Jays between 2011 and 2017. So he was a rookie here. He's currently in the, pl- still playing in the minors for the Mets, so hoping to make it up back to the MLB. For his career, he's He had 262, 19 home runs, 97 RBIs, and 44 stolen bases. Lonnie Chisinau had his first year with the Tribe. Hit 255, 7 home runs, 22 RBIs, and 66 games. Chisinau was from Moorhead City, North Carolina. He played for the Tribe from 2011 to the present, so he's still with the Indians. For his career, he's hit 265, 63 home runs, 287 RBIs. Been a right fielder, center fielder. They call sometimes they call him Lonnie Baseball. Tremendous player for the tribe. Lonnie Chisinau, tremendous hitter and outfielder. Austin Kearns hit 200, two home runs, seven RBIs in 57 games. Travis Buck was a new player. Hit 228, two home runs, 18 RBIs in 50 games. Buck was from Lich, Richland, Washington, an outfielder for the A's. Tribe and Astros between 2007 and 2012. For his career, he hit 243, 20 home runs, and 95 RBIs. Jason Kipnis had his first year with the Tribe. Yay! He hit 272, 7 home runs, 19 RBIs, 5 stolen bases in 36 games. Kipnis was from Northbrook, Illinois, second baseman center fielder for the, playing for the Tribe from 2011 to the present. For his career, his he hit 264, 90 home runs, 409 RBIs, and 121 stolen bases. Two-time All-Star, they call him Kip. He was a high school wide receiver in football and set a, set a record for his high school, 1,247 yards, receiving yards as a senior. He was a 2010 Tribe Minor League Player of the Year and won the Lou Boudreaux Award. He's a practicing Roman Catholic, although he, identi- he identifies as being Jewish. 
because of his father's ancestry. They call him Dirtbag because he gets his uniform dirty. You know, he likes to steal bases, and you know, he's, if he gets a lead, he'll, you know, he'll he'll get off the bay, have to dive back to first, or make diving stops in the infield. Gets his uniform dirty. He's the first MLB player, first player in MLB history to have home runs in four consecutive games in his first two weeks in the MLB. Very good. Jason Donald had a fine year. Hit 318, one home run. Eight RBIs in 39 games. Jim Tomey was back. Yeah, fun having Jim Tomey back uh, for near the end of his career. One of the guys from the 95 tribe in the late 90s. And Tomey played well, hit 296, three home runs, 10 RBIs in 22 games. Wonderful having Jim Tomey back in Cleveland briefly near the end of the year. And actually, they had him at third base for a game, or for an at bat, I believe. So that was fun having him back in town. Cord Phelps hit 155, one home run, six RBIs in 35 games. Phelps was from Stanford, California, second baseman for the Tribe and Orioles between 2011 and 2014. So this is his rookie year. He, For his career, he hit 155, two home runs, and 11 RBIs. Adam Everett hit 217, zero home runs, one RBI in 34 games. Louis Valbuena hit 209, one home run, one RBI in 17 games. Trevor Crow hit 214, zero home runs, two RBIs, three stolen bases in 15 games. Jared Heed hit 125, zero home runs, one RBI in 10 games. Now in this in the pitching staff, the uh, the rotation had uh, Justin Masterson, who went 12 and 10, with a 3.21 ERA. 33 starts, and one complete game. So that was a good year for Justin Masterson. Fausto Carmona, uh, now known as Roberto Hernandez, had a tough year, went 7-15 and, and 15 with an ERA of 5.25 and 32 starts. Josh Tomlin had a good year, went 12-7 and seven with a 4.25 ERA and 26 starts. Carlos Carrasco went 8-9 and nine with a 4.62 ERA, 21 starts, and a shutout. Ubaldo Jimenez was a new starter, went 4-4 four and four with an ERA of 5.10, 11 starts. Jimenez was from Nagua, Dominican Republic, pitched for the Rockies, Tribe, and Orioles between 2006 and 2017. For his career, he, went, he won 114 games, lost 117 with an ERA of 4.30, 4.34, 1,720 strikeouts. He made the All-Star team in 2010. He threw a no-hitter in 2010 for the Rockies, the first in their team's history. In, 20, 20, in 2007, he won a National League title, went to the World Series with the Rockies. And we picked him up on July 31st, 20, 2011, in a trade uh, from the Rockies for Alex White, Joe Gardner, Matt McBride, and Drew Pomerantz. So, we picked him up when the Indians were, you know, were actually hoping to contend in 2011, and we're contending early on. Mitch Talbot went two and six with an ERA of 6.64 and 12 starts. Chris Perez went four and seven with a 3.32 ERA, 64 games, 36 saves, and he made the All-Star team and won the Frank Gibbons Steve Olin Good Guy Award. So a fine year for Chris Perez. Joe Smith. Had, tre- had a tremendous year. Was three and three with a with a very good ERA of 2.01 in 71 games. Wow. Rafael Perez also had a fine year. Five and two with a 3.00 ERA in 71 games as well. Tony Sip went six and three with a 3.03 ERA in 69 games. You see, the Indians had a fine bullpen. Vinny Pastana went one and two with a very good ERA of 2.32. 67 games and two saves. Wow, all those guys really good. Chad Durbin was 2-2 two two with a 5.53 ERA, 56 games, and he returned. He had, he had left Cleveland. Jean-Marc Gomez was 5-3 with a 4.47 ERA, 11 games, and 10 starts. Frank Herman was 4-0 with a 5.11 ERA in 40 games. David Huff went 2-6 with a 4.09 ERA, and 10 starts. Zach McAllister had his first year with the Tribe, went 0-1 with a 6.11 ERA, four starts. McAllister was from Peoria, Illinois, pitched for the Tribe from 2011 to the present. 
His, his career record is 28-35 and 35 with a 4.00 ERA, 520 strikeouts. His father uh, pitched for the Astros and Pirates in the minor leagues, and his, his father is currently a Diamondback scout. Very good. Alex White had a, was a new pitcher, went 1-0 with a 3.60 ERA, three starts. White, White was from Greenville, North Carolina, pitched for the Tribe and Rockies from 2011 to 2012, Went five and six with a 3.03 ERA and 101 strikeouts. Josh Judy had no decisions, an ERA of 7.07 in 12 games. Judy was from Morgantown, West Virginia. Pitched for the Tribe in 2011. That this, so this was his the extent of his MLB career. He also pitched in the minors for the Reds, Angels, Dodgers, and Mariners, and he also pitched professionally in Mexico. Justin Germano, Germano was 0 and 1 with a 5.68 ERA. In nine games, Nick Hagedone was a new pitcher, one and 0 4.09 ERA in nine games. Hagedone was from Sandpoint, Idaho, pitched for the Tribe from 2011 to 2015. For his career, he went three and two with a 4.72 ERA and 122 strikeouts. He also pitched for the Brewers and Mariners in their minor league systems. Zach Putnam was a new pitcher, went one and one with a 6.14 ER, ERA. In eight games, Putnam was from Rochester, Michigan, pitched for the Tribe, Rockies, Cubs, and White Sox between 2011 and 2017. His career record was 10 and 7 with a 3.20 ERA and 162 strikeouts. Corey Kluber had his first year with the Tribe, had no decisions, and an ERA of 8.31 in three games. Kluber was from Birmingham, Alabama. He's been pitching from the Tribe from 2011 to the present. He's had a tremendous career. His career record is 83 and 50 with a 3.06 ERA, 1,279 strikeouts, two-time All-Star, two-time Cy Young Award winner. They call him Klubot because he's he's very he's a very calm guy on the mound. And we picked him up in a trade from the Padres in 2010. In 2015, uh, yeah. Uh, in 2015, on May 13th, he had 18 strikeouts in a game, which tied Bob Fowler's team record going back to 1938. In the 2016 postseason with the Tribe, Kluber made six starts and had an ERA of 1.83. Wow, really, really good. Anyway, the 2011 Tribe, yeah, an interesting year. You know, real strong early on, and then they faded. But anyway, uh, they very entertaining team, very interesting team. And God bless all those fellows who played for the tribe in 2011. They're forever champions of our hearts. And God bless everyone else associated with the team, including the fans. Captains of the Cuyahoga, lovers of Lake Erie, Terminal Tower Power, fans of the Free Stamp Statue, uh, Tribe Browns and Cavs rule Cleveland City of Champions. Good luck to the Cavs in the finals. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, take care, and I'll see you next time.